Here we are back at the garden. Everything you can see, it's a pretty big garden. It's probably uh, 40 foot by 15 foot wide to one. The other one's probably 30 by 15. First thing we're coming up to, you see it's a 55 gallon can, trash can, regular can, holes drilled in the bottom. The bottom four inches are uh, mulch, that's it. And then you mix your soils like I told you on the first video, you mix them all together, your blood meal, your bone meal, your uh, potting soil and your manure. And your manure, your potting soil is three quarters of your thing. Manure is only a, a, a quarter of it. And then the rest uh, is a handful of each mixed in. So that's a 55 gallon drum. And you see that's growing. That's, that right there is Yukon potatoes. And in the middle of it, if you see, I doubled it up. There's cherry tomatoes on the center here that are also growing right back in there. So that's, that's that one. If you come over here, the next thing we're going to go to is spaghetti squash. So this is a spaghetti squash plant, and they go everywhere. But if you look, you'll see that one down there that's growing. That's probably about 8 to 10 inches long. And this one here is probably about 16 to 18 inches long. And you can see it takes over the fence and everything going on with the this here. And this in here is a yellow squash. Uh, plant here down in a 25 gallon uh, grow bag. Uh, you don't see anything growing on it now. I just picked it, but I probably picked 15 squashes off that already. And the one I just showed you, the spaghetti squash, they normally take a lot of area up, but they grow about four um, spaghetti squash a year. Uh, if you look in here, I got a little uh, uh, cucumber coming up right in here right next to the uh, sp spaghetti squash. And if you look here, you can see right here, the zucchini right there. I've probably picked, mm, I'd say a good eight to 10 already off this one bush. And uh, then I had to start trimming it back and doing it. If you look in there, you'll see those magnolias. The best thing for magnolias is magnolias. Keep bugs out of your garden. That's what you grow them for. And I uh, just got to keep the water to them. The next thing we got coming down here is we got some more Yukon potatoes growing here. Same thing, 55 gallon drum as I told you before. And you won't turn those over. I'll have a video on that, but you won't turn those over or even look at those and just water them. And we'll look at them around the end of September. Uh, right behind that, you can see is all is a cucumber plant, which is all fed up through the feeder and you look way in there you can see there's some big old cucumbers in there there's a, a good eight to ten cucumbers in there on that one I have to get off uh, if you look here see what this one's a melon this is a melon through trouble so there's no melons on here yet but over time it will and that's only in a five gallon container so I have to be real careful of that next to that is another style cucumber plant you come look in here You'll see the cucumbers in there growing. Um, I already trimmed this one back. There's another cucumber in there. I already trimmed this one back, but it's uh, even though it's watered and kept up with, it's it's a daily to weekly thing with the cucumber plants to keep up with them. Uh, and this part of the garden is uh, this is your yellow squash also in here, and I just hand picked this one out uh, this morning. It probably had five or six, but you can see the yellow flowers. That will all be yellow uh, squash coming up out of here. This is a melon, a melon plant for growing uh, melons. Uh, if you look here, you can see the little melons right there growing. Um, these typically produce about five or six melons. You can see a melon right there. So they, these melons are really tasty and good. Uh, and here's just a little pepper plant. It's a bell pepper plant. If you look way in there, you can see them little bells starting to grow. I'm not sure what color one that, oh, that's a red pepper, red bell pepper, sorry. Next to that is another pepper plant. This one is a, a uh, jalapeno. So this will take a little while for it to get going. They generally come in around August, but it'll grow all its leaves. This here, if you look in here, you can see the the green beans and everything in there. This is this is a navy beans, green beans. A bucket full of these. Same solution. Uh, the next thing we have coming in is we got some 
another cherry tomato plant right in there. Uh, it's only in a five, seeing the 25 gallon ones, I can uh, not water as much in a five gallon ones, I have to water quite a bit. So that's probably a daily thing. This here is zucchini. Uh, you see it doesn't look that healthy, but I just had to chop it and get it all out because it took a hit from the storm we had. But uh, I got a little more to take out of it. It's got too much growth in it, and then we'll, that'll start producing again. This here, you can see the tomato in there. This is a beefsteak tomato plant here. Uh, it's better part of four foot tall. Started at like two inches high when I did it from the winter. Um, this is another... Um, Sorry about that, somebody's phone ringing in my pocket. Uh, this is another pepper plant. This is also a bell, but it's so small, I'm not really sure, but I think that's a purple bell. Uh, this is a, uh, another tomato plant, and this is a, this is a big boy, but it's gonna take a while to produce because I've had to put everything in it so well and tight. This here is a yellow squash plant, and you can see down on there, I still got some growing there. And I got one down in there. Uh, I got two plants and I'd rather do it with one, but just ended up that way. But it's produced pretty good so far. This is eggplant. You can look down in here and see them. These are a Japanese style eggplant. Um, this will produce quite a few eggplant. The other variety of eggplant I have in the other garden. Um, this is another cherry tomato, but I think it's a yellow color. So it should be a yellow colored cherry made a tight plant you see it's just full of them but it's going to be a while this is a um oh my gosh this is a plum this is a plum tomato and you, if i get back that's got to be six foot tall it's a big one it's going to just produce all summer and just keep on going um this one here out of a bucket you see five gallon bucket same soil recipe i gave you this is a uh, cucumber plant here i have trimmed it back i just moved it over here today out of my other gardens and I got to put a fence up around it, but that's because wasn't enough air breathing through the plant. This one here is a, um, let me see here real quick, make sure I ain't crazy. Yeah, it's a honeydew, I'm sorry. This is a honeydew plant here. These generally, they're starting to make the little parts of them now as they're growing off here. You can see it, this generally starts mid-July and then in hot weather really starts picking up, but they have a short growth period where they grow and then it's over. Then you can see that cucumber right down in there. These are the long straight neck uh, cucumbers, also in a five gallon bucket. And this is another squash, which I doubled up here as an experiment. Getting a lot of flowers, haven't gotten much, but this is more of a gray zucchini, but the other ones I doubled up, the gray zucchini, were doing real good so far this year. So been real happy with that production. And you can see we got a little flower in pepper tree right back in here that's another bell i think pretty sure that's a, a, a green bell pepper um right next to that is another tomato tree and if we get in here and look you'll see it has um this is another uh, big boy and there's some big tomatoes on that thing already but the first round that normally comes out on these things um typically get some bug stuff uh, bugs eating them up or whatever. This is another eggplant and you can see by the purple leaf right there. I already picked one off here. It was a real nice eggplant so far. Uh, inside here is, a, is a more plum tomatoes, a big plum tomato bush, which is grown in another 25 gallon. These are all 20 or 25 gallon pots. Right there, that is sweet potatoes. Uh, until they die, you won't even touch these. I put these in and Late May, I won't even touch them to the end of September. When I do, I'll send a video. You wouldn't believe how many uh, potatoes you get out of here. And there, that bucket right there, that is red potatoes. Uh, first year doing those, but it, they have been looking good so far from the growth on top. Plus, it looks like I got a little a couple of yellow squash growing on top of it in there. Some outseeded itself. Uh, this here is uh, pole beans. And you can see them growing right here whole beans it's just another type of green beans and I also have in here another style pole bean but you see right down in here it's a uh, I don't know if I can get a good picture of this 
Oh, you see here, it's a purple. It's purple pole beans. So I have four plants of pole beans here. You can see, see, really see the green beans. They're not gonna get these picked before they go bad. I can eat those. That looks real good. So, and I got another bucket of uh, green beans right there. Then if you come over here, these three big pots you see in this area right here, these are all uh, Yukon potatoes. Potatoes are made up with the same recipe I exactly told you. They still look green now, they're not yellowing, but this will all die off and go away by the end of the summer and look kind of crappy, but people think, oh, they're dead, they're not. You leave them in for four months, at least 120 days, and uh, when those 120 days are up, you'll, you'll dump it out and you'll be amazed what you have at these. This one here is uh, Yukon, Yukon over here, that's a Yukon. And that there's purple potatoes. They're like Peruvian purple potatoes. So that's, they're real good. I'll, I'll show you those when we get those out coming up. You can see the kale, kind of getting towards its end. Um, they've eaten quite a bit of this kale this year. Uh, this is another 25 gallon bag with sweet potatoes in it. So you got the sweet potatoes there. And you got sweet potatoes there. And we even got a piece of, a, a stalk of corn coming up out of there. That's pretty cool, which it wasn't planted there, but we got it. And there, you see those cucumbers right back down the side of there? You keep looking around, they're all over this boy. That's a cucumber bush. And they're a pickling type, but they're also uh, a longer pickling type instead of a shorter one. So that's a big producer. Uh, you can see the corn coming up in that bucket there. That, uh, the stuff you're seeing here now is all summer stuff uh, so far in the garden that I'm showing you. This back in here, that is cantaloupe back in there. And you'll see it grows up high. You gotta prune it and then you gotta find cantaloupes and you have to support them as you go in it. Uh, this is another melon bush here. So once these melons start producing, I start seeing them, then I gotta do different with them and hang them with uh, a rag or a pair of ni uh, nylons or something. Here down here, this is uh, another type of uh, green bean, pole bean. Uh, I just put them in a uh, one of them new recyclable trash bags or whatever you get or gar grocery bags from the store and uh, It's really you can see it's really kicking butt one of my favorite plants to grow is this right here And this is a is a patty pan squash and if you look in you can see the patty pan squash right there So it's uh, pretty cool and you can see let me go back to this plant You can see the melons and stuff growing right there You can see them they're, they're all starting to come out everywhere on there I uh, put some more beans in, I bought so many. So I put the, uh, an extra can of those in. And back in here, it's a little crowd. I've been moving stuff around. Those are cucumbers, but they're yellow striped cucumbers. Uh, so first, I tried them last year, but wasn't good, but they're growing all right now. I just have to see what they end up. And of course, there's more uh, marigolds back in there for to keep the bugs away. Uh, if you look at this corn here, you'll see, um, one bucket there, one bucket there, another bucket there, and if you go back and you look at them, that corn's all four foot tall, four and a half foot tall, and it just started out as little seedlings and took off from there, and uh, pretty good success with it so far. We're gonna see how it produces. It's a sweet silver corn is what I'm being understood to told. This here is uh, acorn, acorn squash. It's big developing but don't see anything on it yet but typically these don't produce or come out i gotta trim it back some but they don't come back out till uh, i'd say around uh late july early september you can see here here right here is another uh this is a plum tomato bush you can see i'm starting to come in here and it's starting to get rid of its boundary you can see where i've had it trim back at certain places to keep it under its control what it needs to do in there you can see those tomatoes in there that's a type of uh like a, a big boy but not as big as a big boy i can't think what the name is of them right now but it's another type of tomato this right here is a bucket full of carrots which i'll leave in there until the end of august and take take those all out and in those 25 gallon pails i've shown you so far with tomatoes cucumbers uh melons and different stuff around the perimeter of those when I first plant them. I also put onions, 
uh, different types of onions, carrots, lettuces, and the uh, carrots are still growing, the onions are still growing, but, uh, and they're on the bottom around the edge, but the rest of the stuff was lettuce and stuff, and that's all out of season now because it's too warm, but got some great lettuce out of it. This is another style tomato, and I'll be honest with you, this one's got some weird leaves on it. I know I planted it all, but I don't know really what this one is. I got a feeling it. it's a, uh, it's, it's, I think it's a, um, uh, it's some type of Spanish, I'm trying, some newer uh, type of uh, tomato for this year. You can see these things, yeah, they attach yourself, these, these uh, vegetables as you grow them. And they're just, it's amazing how they uh, take off and do things. And this right here is another cucumber bush and it's huge and it's taken off through the fence. So I, the older ones will start, keep producing, but when they die off, I'll have these other ones that are gonna come in and still keep me going. I got two types of peppers in this pot here. One is jalapeno, uh, red hot jalapeno, and the other one is a, uh, it's some type of salsa pepper that I got in there. And when we go to the next one, you'll see this one here. This is a bell pepper too. I can tell by the buds on it and the flowers. It's a bell pepper, but I'm not, I think this is a yellow bell pepper. Um, we keep going in here. This is gray zucchini bush. I, there's none in there right now because I'll be honest with you, I just cut them out and I got them all upstairs. And I post pictures on my uh, Facebook page of the, the stuff I grow and I'll leave that link if you want to see the stuff I grow on there. This here is another type of squash, but this is a yellow squash and I've already picked off this one too, but it is a uh, needs to be pruned back but it's doing good this here is cantaloupe you can see the, the flowering and everything coming up on it now once it do its own thing you gotta the main thing with these vegetables that you have in here that go all over like watermelon and uh cantaloupes and melons you have to train all this stuff to go up inside it's where it has to go if you look back there you'll see that's a big old blooming onions right there uh, they're still green, they're starting to fall over, but they're probably a good month away, and then we'll have some good old big onions there. we got another bell starting in here, another bell pepper. And this one in here is a, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a jalapeno again. So uh, that'll, that'll be taken off soon too. This is another, I don't know why, but this year I'm really got the yellow squash in, but you can see the flowers, and I've already picked this one all out. And you can look on here, and if you look, if you see growing right, right down there, it's another type of patty pan growing in there too. So sometimes I experiment and see what's gonna happen. We'll just have to see how it goes, but hopefully it is some type of uh, patty pan. Um, this right here is another row of uh, onions. Uh, the ones in the other one, there's red, there's white, uh, brown, uh, but all through here, I have like five different varieties of uh, um, onions going through here. Got some more corn growing right there, some extra shoots I had. That is a new eggplant going in right there. This eggplant here I've already picked off of, like I told you, you can see one growing right there. And there's the other flower for it, so it'll really be ready to go. And then here's another cucumber plant right in here. And she, she's been doing a great job producing too. You can see it, got the stringers out there. It's just dying to hook onto something, get something else and kill it. This here is pole beans. Uh, these have been in for a little while, but they're, I gotta get them supported because I ran out of supports. But once I get them up, they'll climb and go. You can see that cherry tomato right there. I had an extra tomato, I put that in. Um, this here, this is another zucchini uh, plant, but I've already, I put this one in because my other ones will only be about another month and then they'll be done. And uh, so I wanted to try to keep another one going in the meantime but we'll see how the weather deals with it uh, this is another squash here and you can see it's a yellow squash you can see one right there growing down below um i've picked quite a few off this one already uh, i think we probably have 15 yellow squash already this year and i just want to show you that tomato again and things are big old big tomatoes wish i ate them things uh this is another eggplant and you can just see the purple flowers on this one or you get them purple flowers. That means they're coming. You can see one growing right 
right there. So it'll take a little while. There's another one growing out right there and one below that. So there's three of them getting ready to start growing out. Uh, it's kind of fascinating to me to watch an eggplant, even though I don't need it, grow and do what it does. Uh, you can see I got to resupport that tomato plant. It's getting so heavy in there with all the tomatoes on it. This is watermelon, but what this is, is this is crimson watermelon. It's a sweet watermelon. You see the carrots all growing around the edge? I had those all in there and the watermelon has taken over. I have to trim this all back. I just trained it up earlier today and it's all trained up and uh, ready to go. So hopefully soon I'll be able to get back to uh, trimming these things back, but i got to get some stumps out tomorrow. All right, that's it for this garden and uh, I'm gonna take you to show you my other garden here shortly. Thanks.